Good morning, everyone. It's D Bailey. I want to thank each and every one of you for tuning in. It's a beautiful day. I want to bring to you some interesting and beneficial content. If you're new to the channel, I'm going to ask that you please subscribe, like this video, jam that thumbs up. Definitely leave your comments below. Let me know where you're tuning in from. And by all means, please be sure to share. And if you don't mind, please do me a favor, stick around to the very end. I don't want you to miss anything. All right, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So really quick, guys. I want to touch on the idea of being a single parent, specifically a single dad in the uh, military. For those of you who don't know who I am, I am D. Bailey. I'm a licensed real estate broker, uh, father, and I'm also a Marine Corps veteran. I have experience with this, this ideal, this subject matter. Although I was not a single dad at the time of my enlistment, I, however, was a leader of Marines, and I had direct experience with this, with this topic. Okay. Um, my job required me to counsel Marines, junior Marines, and also it put me in a position to, to be able to witness this experience, uh, both from a professional perspective, perspective as well as a, an off-duty uh, personal perspective in the lives of other Marines. All right. I served from 98 to 2002. All right. So what i do know just to give you some some foundational information military regulation across the board from my research states that a recruit or someone anticipating entry into the enlistment into the military cannot be forced to relinquish relinquish custody in order to join custody must already be transferred over to someone else if that person who's seeking enlistment is a single parent or have custody of a minor or adult okay this is not legal advice mind you disclaimer this is not legal advice i recommend you starting with your state bar association or national bar or american bar association okay all right, so let's get into the uh, experience. Now, the whole idea of being in the military is being combat ready or mission ready, okay, which requires short notice or immediate mobilization of personnel. A lot of times that entails on the Monday through Friday waking up having to go to work early, being on call, having to go PT, and even being subject to the whims of your your sergeant, your superior, your, you know, whatever the rank or structure is. With this being said, you know as a single parent, your mission is your child. Or as a parent in general, your mission is your child. And if another person, say your boss, superior sergeant, calls you to have to be to work or have to be on your on your um, at your duty station or your duty site, um, you have a huge moral conflict there. The the last thing that you're going to do, or you know, as a responsible parent, is to just abandon your child. But unfortunately, the expectation, the expectation from a uh, combat readiness standpoint is that you hop up, be ready to go at the drop of a dime. Okay, this creates a huge moral conflict for you. Okay. Unfortunately, you're, you're caught in the balance of being ready caring for your child and professional growth that's correct Pro professional growth you have what's called I know in the Marine Corps specifically you have what's called pros and cons proficiency and conduct 
this whole issue right here falls on un, unfortunately falls under both of those are you are you able to be proficient in your job being a single parent single dad are you falling in order which falls under your conduct all right so this is the dilemma that you run into as a single dad or a single parent. I recall a story, this young lady. Let me back up. I told you I served from 98 to 2002. I've never seen a, a single father. Okay, I've never seen a single father. Not once. If, you, if you've served in the military and this is your, you, you have experience with single dads, Let's let's hear it. I've never heard it before. It's very rare. I'm sure 90% of those comments below will support what I just, you know, that number. Most of my experiences have been with uh, single moms. My last two years in the Marine Corps, that was a young lady. She was a single mom. She was, I believe she was a motor transport occupation. Her occupation was motor transport. However, she, due to her personal matters, being a single mom, she was put in, in a position to work in an office, light duty. As a leader of Marines, my job was to monitor her, her off-base living structure, her home. I had to go and drop her off. I had to pick her up. I had to ensure that her house was being cleaned. There were a few occasions where I would have to go to the to her house and you could absolutely tell that her quality of life was not the best. It was not the best at all. You might as well say it was, you know, it was typical of what, you know, my experiences have been in trailer parks. The few times that I've actually I'm not going to lie, I've never, I don't believe I've ever been inside of a trailer park or inside of a trailer home. Only, uh, and I'm a real estate broker, only as uh, maybe as a child and what I've seen on television. So the depiction of what you'll find on television, that's what the experience was. Um, this young lady was full of strife. Her life, you know, sh she was full of stress, full of strife. And she was on her way out of the Marine Corps. And it was all due to her, you know, directly attached to the idea that she was a single parent. She couldn't meet mission readiness. And uh, the whole, you know, the whole office felt it and had to, you know, had to experience it. Okay. Um, so if you're, you know, if you're anticipating, you know, enlisting into the military and you're a single parent I can't in good conscience tell you to give custody away of your child but what I can tell you is that the two do not go hand in hand the two will not will not work harmoniously you will have substantial stress trying to navigate the two okay figure that out um, things may change for you, you know, but for the most part, you know, you'll have to make that decision yourself, but just bottom line and summary, the two do not go together. So to answer your question, can you be a single dad in the military? The answer is yes, but would I recommend it? Definitely no. Okay, sometimes in life we have to we have to adjust our goals. We have to adjust our um, you know, we have to adjust our goals. And I would, you know, in this case I would definitely recommend an adjustment of, you know, of goals. All right, guys. Thank you for watching this. I hope, you know, it was of course it wasn't comprehensive, but you know, I hope it was beneficial and give you some foundational information on on how to navigate, you know, this life choice. Thank you guys for watching D Bailey Speaks. Again, please be sure to subscribe, jam that thumbs up button, like, comment, and by all means, please share. Thank you for listening to D Bailey Speaks. Peace.